Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be solving my example on sets. In the last video, I defined some of the terminologies used in sets, and we are going to apply some of these terminologies here. So let me give you an example to back it up. The first example is a Y question example. Example, okay, number one, given that Unifaga sets, don't forget we can write to the Unifaga sets as this or like uh, call it you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh -huh. And your A is equal to 1, 2, 4, 6, 10. Your B is equal to 2, 3, 6, 9. Then the question asks us to show that this is the first one. Show that... A union B complement is equal to what? A complement intersection B complement. What's, what's that law? That's the Morgan's law, if you don't forget. So, and the second question we have, question two. So, question two, that is, if A is equal to one, two, three, four, B is equal to 3, 5, 6, find number 1, I have P intersection Q, number 2, P union Q, number 3, P intersection Q, union Q, number 4, P union Q, intersection p yeah okay the first question the two questions are not difficult at all question one solution a you know we have that our universe set is what one two three you know i thought you can write it like this up to ten and we have that our a is equal to what sorry let's say this is p and this is q so your A is equal to 1, 2, 4, 6, 10. And your B is equal to 2, 3, 6, 9. And the first, the question asks us to show that A union B, that is the what? You have to show that A union B complement, which is one of the De Morgan's law, is equal to A intersection, A complement intersection, B complement. That's not difficult to do. Okay, now let us proceed. So, you know, before you can, from, you can say from left hand side, you know, if you want to prove something, you can prove that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. You know, from left hand side, I have my A union B complement. It means I have to find A union B first, then I now find the complement of A union B. So, what is A union B? That is the element in A or B or both. So that's going to give you what? One, two, okay? Three, four, six, nine, ten. Am I lying? No. So then it means my A union B complement is what? Don't forget from the definition. That is the element in the universe set. You know, the universe set contains elements from between one and ten that are not in this what? In this set. What are they? You have what? Five seven eight i think just three of them like that okay now we've show we've we've uh find the value of the what left hand side what of the right hand side from right hand side what are we to show from the right hand side we want to show that a i uh, want to find a complement intersection b complement it means we have to find a complement first then we find b complement then we now find what the intersection of the two of them what is A complement? That is, what is in A, uh, what is in the universe that are not in A? So we have three, 
you know, one, two, so this will be three, five, seven, eight, nine. So that's three, five, seven, eight, nine. Is that okay? Uh -huh. So, okay, what of big complement? What are in this? What are in this universe that are not in B? That's one, four, five, seven, one, four, five, seven, eight. Am I correct? Yeah, and ten. So this is your B complement. Then you now find A complement intersection B complement. What now be your A complement intersection B complement? What is the common element to both? That is five. Five is here, five is here. Seven, eight. Can you see? And that says since left hand side is equal to right hand side. So that is what? Your A union B complement is equal to what? A intersection B complement ends. Say ends. So that proves the Morgan's theorem. I give you the second fraction of the De Morgan's theorem as I mean uh, as an exercise. What's the second fraction that is A intersection B complement equals to what? A complement union B complement. So that's just it. That's just it. So if that is clear, let us do the second example. I think let me just copy it here so that we don't stress ourselves. Uh, what is the second question? Yeah, from here. So we have that if P is equal to this, just a minute, I'm just copying it. Okay, let me paste it here. So if B, if P is equal to this, this is P and not is your P is equal to one, two, three, four. And your Q is equal to three, five, six. Then we ask to find A, P intersection Q. What is P intersection Q? That is the common element to what? To P and Q. What are the common elements to P and Q? I think that's just three. That's just that. Okay, what of P union Q? P union Q, that is the element in A or B or both. What are the elements? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's just it. You can see it's very simple. And the third one, we have P intersection Q union Q. That is what you have here. That is P intersection Q, which is three union Q. So that is you marry this guy together and write the element there. So that's three, five, six. It's very simple, isn't it? So and the third one, fourth one, we have P union Q intersection P. That is your P union Q intersection P. This guy, intersection, you take the intersection of them. What are the common elements? They are what? One, two, three, four. So they are one, two, three, four. And I think that's all. So you can see it is very... It's very simple. So let me give you another example. And this example will be on a set builder notation. Let me I mean, find a Y equation for you as well. Example. Example. You have that the universe set. Is the set of all integers and the subset P, Q, R of what? Of universe that are given by, they are given by number one. I have my P. My P is a set X such that S is less or equal to zero. I have my Q, which start from here, minus five. That means it's what? It is an infinite set, right? So because it doesn't end. So you can't count it. So like that. Then you have your R such that, I mean, S is what? Is greater or equal to minus two less than seven. 
you understand now so then the question asks us to find find number one q intersection r number two we have r complement so we are r is what the complement of r that's the complement of r so then c you are to find what p intersection r so p intersection r so that's the question it is not difficult to do so we have that the universe set is the set of all the integers and the subset are given by p you know this is self builder notation you have to rewrite your p very well solution so you know your p here is going to be what what will now be the value of p your p is going to be you know they said s is less or equal to zero s is less or equal to zero you understand that, that this it will start from where wherever it starts from so then you have minus five minus four minus three minus two minus one and zero because this less or equal to zero if there is no equality sign there you just stop there i hope you understand so if that is cleared you have your q i think we're giving in full that's minus five minus three minus one one three five uh -huh. then you have your r as well r is s such that s is greater or equal to minus two that is also start from minus two less than seven minus two minus one zero one two three up to h up to six <laughs> don't write seven because you said less than seven that is this it is less than seven then what's the question number one so we asked to find q intersection r number one q intersection r what is q intersection r that is the common elements to both of them so the common element to both of them what are the common elements so uh, minus two is not here i think they are minus one we have minus one one so we have three you understand now we have four do you know why how no so far is not there we have five so we have six do you do you understand why you know this five is here five is here after five this dot dot means we are still going to have another element which is six seven eight nine then this also means three four five six so it means six is also common to both of them so and that's going to be your answer then b you are asked to find the r complement so you have to find the r complement that is the complex of r the complement of r with respect to what the universe set although we were not given okay we're given the universe set our universe set is the set of integers right yeah let us rewrite it very well it means before i can even do that my universe set is set of all integers and what are integers all the set of positive numbers negative number and h and zero so it means you can start from here maybe minus five minus four minus three up to five six and so on then you also find your r complement what will now be your r complement now so that is what is in this universe that is the set of integers that are not in r what are those things that are not in r you have to be careful because i'll start from minus two but before you can start from minus two there are some set of numbers that are here you understand now so then it means i'm going to have minus five dot 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 minus five minus four minus three then you stop you understand because minus two is here uh -huh. then minus one is also here zero one two three up to six then what are you when where are you going to start again after six that's seven eight nine and so on I hope you so that's just it that's just it and the last one you have to find c p complement integration r complement right although we know what our hard complement is but we've not find our p complement but you can obtain your p complement from here that is what are in the universe set which is the set of all integers that are not in what that are not in p what are they 
So all these are there, minus 5, minus 4, they are there, minus 3, minus 1, minus, so up to 0. What are not there are out? Start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that is the set of natural number. So what will now be the intersection between this P complement and R complement? What are they? That is the intersection, the common element to both of them. So what are the common elements? So that's going to be 7, 8, 9, 10. I hope you understand that. So that's that. And this one is very interesting and simple. So if you understand this, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.